What's up guys? Um welcome to another video. I hope y'all had a you know one for holidays and one for New Year's. Uh, today um I wanna try to put the the new fenders I got and put the hood back on the Genesis. Uh, and see what it looked like. I haven't even put it on yet to see what you know what it may look like. But uh, that's gonna be the task today. Um it's on I'm trying I'm debating on what to do with the truck guys. Um so as um yeah, I originally know we got the transmission back in and I can't put in drive or work until I get the brake line fixed because I don't want to put in drive or work and it moves and I can't stop the truck. So, um long story short, we replaced the front brake lines. Um so one banjo boat got to be replaced because I had to cut it because it was too rusted out. And we replaced the rear brake lines um with stainless steel. And when I woke to try to bleed the brakes or whatever, the one line I didn't fit uh, connects from the f the front center and goes all the way to the rear. Um, the try along the frame, it's, it buzzed when I hit pedals. So now I have to uh, make a new brake line for that. Uh, new brake lines won't come in till tomorrow, uh, so I can't you know make it flare and everything till then. So right now it's sitting up, and I don't know what I want to do with the truck yet. I don't know if I want to sell it, pour it out. Uh, only reason because it's need a lot of work as far as like frame wise. Um, the frame is straight, but cab and the body is all trash, all rusted out. And I had to buy new ones, and you know, versus I could just sell it, take the parts I put in, sell it, go down south, pick up one for like four or five grand. Um, or probably six grand really and drive that back down here and have a cleaner truck uh, I'm not for sure what I want to do yet I don't know want to keep working on this and make this you know a masterpiece or just you know so that's that's well if I do sell it um, oh I still don't have a tire for it like the dude I bought, from, I bought from the dealership you know I seen the tire he shipped it off to DMV to get it put in my name or whatever and it's been almost it's been four months and still no title. I don't know because of COVID going on or whatever. So, I mean, I would have to swap titles. I mean, swap VIN numbers if I do keep the truck to just get it registered. So, that's the thing. I don't know what to do with the truck. I don't know. Maybe turn to a rich truck. I don't know, guys. So, that's what I'm kind of in right now. Par it out. Pull the motor and trans. Keep the wheels. Par it out. Sell it by for like 500 bucks. And then go buy another truck. And I still have an actual motor and train laying around. So I don't know what to do. So just let you know guys. Like I don't know. But we'll figure that down later down the road. But right now we're going to try to put the hood back on. Uh, got the new fender sitting over there. I really need to clean this up because this is a hot mess. But that's you know we'll do that later on. But let's try to get this car moving over a little bit. Um, so we gotta move this thing over so I can get the driver's side since I can't move the truck. Um, got this side pretty much off, um, besides the two on the bottom, but you have to open the door up to get to that side. So, um, might go ahead and do this side real quick since we got you no know, full access, full range. Um, I need to go get a battery. So I can open the doors and stuff. But yeah, let's start on that. The one right here, I, got, I gotta do on the, on the driver's side. Gotta pull that this plastic piece to get to this boat. Uh, I just use a flathead to get in there. I should have caught it when I 
I wasn't even thinking about it. But yeah, I gotta do the same thing on the driver's side. Um, but yeah, I gotta put this interior back. Yeah, <laughs> man, we got pieces all over the place. But yeah. So we got one out. Uh, I gotta get some more clips. The clip broke with my side skirts. Um, so I gotta get some more of those. But let's get this fender. It's this one. Ah. Oh man, these things look good. Let me take it out to the sun so y'all can see this. But this thing looks freaking awesome guys so all right so these are girl girl flats i believe um they're msr v1 style um fiberglass front fenders um they got a little like uh like old fender old flare kind of look to it oh my god it's from like the wrap, the bubble wrap they had taped to it. But um, as you can tell, it's a lot different, man. I think these things are gonna look fucking hard, man, with the angle angle kit. Um, but yeah, let's throw that on and see what it look like, guys. So these don't come like um, pre holes so you gotta actually put the holes in yourself. So I know I have two here and two here gotta cut that hole out and then the top you have like three of them on the top so but i'm just gonna sit down and see what it look like oh my god yo so woohoo look at that that's gonna be fire that's gonna be fire bro so let me go ahead and drill these holes out real quick and then we'll continue. So um, if you point these fenders on, um, on the pattern side you have this little button that's usually sitting right there, right where that big hole is at. Oh my god, why is it zooming in all the way? Alright, so right where that big hole is at. So you want to take this out and you want to make sure you pull it on your fenders so um you know i think it's for the hook latch for the alarm so i'm gonna use a stepper to drill that hole out bigger and uh make it fit so i got it in i'll drill it out and yes yeah, so just make sure you install that if you try and keep your stock on the arm Right, so we got on um a little, I, I'd say it's like a like a six out of ten. Um this body line right here don't really line up. Probably have to heat it up and try to mold it into place. But oh excuse I didn't get that all fans on there. But other than that, I mean the gap right here, it's a little little big. Um I might be able to just slide back a little bit. But like I said, we just playing around. Uh, just want to see what it look like. Um, I'm gonna throw the hood on real quick and uh, probably bolt the the hood down to it, so it look like a complete car. But uh, I say it's a, I give it a solid. It's like a six out of ten. But we'll see. Let me get this hood on and then we'll go from there.
All right, so we got the hood on. Gonna have to make some adjustments on this on this fender. Uh, it has to come down some. Uh, I don't know if because I ain't have the front end bolted down or what, but the back is alright, but the front is a little bit high. Like the stock fan, like the stock fan to come down even. So, like I said, we gotta play around with this a little bit more. Try to get this correct, but man, <laughs> look at that. Thing is gonna come out looking nice, guys. I can't freaking wait. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it call it right here. Um, just cause it's kind going down, so I'll probably play with it a little bit more off camera. Um, but see you guys next time. Um, I'm gonna try to find some wheels for this thing, so it won't be on jack stands no more, <laughs> or at least the front. But um see you guys next time. Um try to make more video on this and um yeah, thanks for watching.